welcome to Waxing On, Episode Five. We're back. It's been a bit. I'm it's Jay Jackson. Bit. Yeah, I'm Rich, Rich Jackson. Jackson. We're we're finally <laughs> here. A little bit of technical difficulties, but we got a few picks for you this uh, this week. And uh, yeah. let's uh, let's get right into it, Ridge. What is your first selection for Episode Five? Uh, my first selection is a little tape from a band called Carrie and Bloom. It's called Sacraments of Pestilence. It is. It's a killer album. It's a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like, put it in a way, like psychotic black metal with a like punk background because it's very black and punk. I could see that. Uh, from Oakland, California. They It was released in May of 2022 on Transylvanian Records. Tape is very sick. He does a lot of solid tapes. Did you get it off their website? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ordered it through him. I used to be subscribed to their service. Uh, you pay like $6.66 a month, and you get the entire catalog on Bandcamp, plus you get a discount on tapes. Oh, that's fucking cool. Or now he's doing a lot of, like, some vinyl and CDs and stuff like that. But it's really, really good. The production is, I mean, perfect with me. I think it's really good production. I like the bass. Yeah, the, the bass, bass is home. sick. The bait like uh like towards the end of the album, the last two tracks, whenever it starts getting a little more like kind of chiller, like more kind of slowed down a little bit, the fuzz tones on that bass yeah, that's just like cuts I in like the when the song starts, it rules. I mean, there's just like a really good balance. The bass, you know, like you said, cuts right through killer guitar tone, black and punk guitar tone the best you could want for it. And, and this, it's a good release. Very good release. I liked it a lot. I slept on it, but you might be it seeing now. it in a end of the year <laughs> list coming soon. Yeah, actually, I mean, so, I mean, if anybody's interested, you can pick these up on Transylvanian records, but also I've seen that death wish carries it too. Wow. I, I think they have a, a vinyl of it or a CD, but yeah, if you want the tape. So it's like oh. death wish just doing it like where they're, you know, how like, converge they they put out they reissue certain things on mm -hmm. is that what they're kind of or i don't know i don't really know maybe it was released on death wish first and then okay Transylvania picked it up i'm not sure so don't you know, okay. get on me about that but it was on the site it looked really appealing the cover art is really cool oh, it's logo rules badass and do they have music. like any just other? Is this is this their only? I'm pretty sure when I list, looked at their Spotify, this is the only thing they only yeah, project they have. Yeah, as far as I know, I mean, who knows? There might be like a demo floating around or something. But as far as I know, that's that's all she wrote on them. But yeah, that's my first pick of the week. Is Carrie and Bloom. Carrie and Bloom. Sacraments. Sacraments. Of pestilence. Yeah. It's all right. Of, but. Hell yeah. We'll pass it along. What you got for us today? Well, mine uh, first pick is a Discogs purchase. It's a CD. And it's uh, this is something a band that has only one album that I've wanted to sh talk about. This album in the last year has been on constant rotation. Came out in 2004. <laughs> it's actually a major label release. It was... Uh, was that 2004? 2004. 2004. Oh, it is a band called Hazen Street. And you're like, what the fuck is Hazen Street? Or you're like... Oh, I've kind of heard that name. <laughs> Look at the guys on the back here. Uh, Hazen Street is basically a punk rock, hardcore. Wait, get, a, get a good look Okay, at look, at the, look at the guys there. New Ooh. York right there. That yep, just screams yep. New York. Yep, give me. Yep. Uh, but uh, basically, Hazen Street is a, I would call it a super group. It's a band, but it's like a punk rock, hardcore, pop punk super group. You got mm -hmm. Toby Morris from H2O. On vocals, you got Freddie Madball on vocals from Madball. Uh, you have Hoya from Madball playing bass. You have Dave Kennedy playing guitar, who was in guitar, who plays guitar also in Angels and Airwaves. That's kind of yeah. That's wild to me. Boxcar Racer and uh, the Straight Edge Band. He was in Over My Dead Body, the Straight Edge Band. Yeah. And uh, and then Mackie, the drummer, who played with Cro Mags and Bad Brains. Yeah, and then that was the, probably the wildest thing to me. Yeah, and then also he's not pictured here, but Chad Gilbert of uh, Newfound Glory and Shy Halud and International Superheroes of Hardcore, yeah. What's Eating Gilbert, what all the shit he does. 
he co-wrote and also plays guitar, but he did not – something I think he couldn't actually tour with them because he's in fucking Newfound Glory, and at the time, Newfound Glory was pretty big. So <laughs> why I'm talking about this CD is because I think – Ridge, you never heard of this at the time, right? I never did, which is surprising because was, 2004, I mean, that's kind of yeah, screaming well, I mean, at me. For but. the scene, like, the, I, I, to me, in my opinion, if you go back and listen to this, I think that there's nothing that sounds like that. I mean, it has influences from a little bit of everything that was going on, but I don't think there's anything that sounded like this at the time, and I think it was ahead of its time. Yeah. And uh, it mixes hardcore, it mixes punk, it mixes pop punk, rock hip-hop mm -hmm. uh everything and it's like for a little over 40 minutes long it's got 12 tracks some of the standout tracks are the singles are you ready fool the world fool the world fool the world fool if the i world. could speak <laughs> um and then my personal favorite some of the deeper tracks is written trouble and all that and also another kind of fun you know little tidbit about this they were signed by Benji and Joel Madden of Good Charlotte <laughs> on their like label. You know how they, some back then they had like major labels would let bands have their own label, like imprint. And this was their label at the time called DC flag records. So, mm. and I just thought that was, uh, Oh yeah. I remember that. Yeah. 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 And people are like bit, bit, Madball and H two O, Good <laughs> Charlotte, <Mags>. yeah, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Hazen Street. I think it's a very unique release, and if you like H two O, you like Madball, you like Newfound Glory, you like Angels and Airwaves, Boxcar yeah. Racer. I think you will dig it. And also for the Good Charlotte fans out there, Benji and Joel Madden backing vocals on two of the tracks. If you can really hear it, you can hear the. Oh. That, that's coming from an extreme Good Charlotte that's fan. Cool. But that is my first pick, uh, Hazen Street, self-titled. Go yeah. check it out, 2004. It may have – I'm just like I, – I talk to people, and they've never heard of it. Like, mm -hmm. it was a major label release. Of course, it got kind of, you know, buried and not talked about. They had a video. They, you know, they talked about performing in front of, like, Freddie and Toby, you know, like, hardcore guys. They said they right. had to perform in front of – I didn't know this was a thing, but a lot of major label bands, to get signed, you have to perform – in front of like a stage <laughs> yeah. of like people with suit like and ties. Oh, so, that's weird. So they were like, you know, let's show them this shit. So they apparently got, they went like super like hardcore style, got in the crowd, got in these suits and tie <laughs> guys' faces, got signed. And I mean, I just think it's a under the radar release that uh, people need to check out yeah. for fans of all those bands. And it's fun. It's, it's different. And, you know, it is. And like, I, you send it to, or I mean, I was listening to it on our playlist and everything. And I, I think I texted you and I was like, oh man, like I get a little bit of like H2O, a little bit of like hot water music, For like sure. some like the promise string and just a lot of like, you know, some bands from around that area. And then like some like early hardcore stuff. And then you're like, yeah, it's features this member and this member and this member. And yeah, I there are no a million idea. bands. So it's like, a, <laughs> and then you get to hear Freddie Madball actually like, sing melody yeah. like so that's pretty cool um, for some reason like though when i first seen the cover of like the hazen street like i could because i didn't know yeah i thought it was like gonna be a band like north star or something like one of those oh, like, like early the, yeah kind of i mean the album covers like, the first north star records bands, yeah. is uh the same like kind of similar style mm -hmm. and speaking of the hazen street you see the street sign there uh sorry for the glare i actually picked up the last Hazen Street sign for sale at the H2O <laughs> show in September. And I'm walking around during the Descendants with a fucking street sign in my hand. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. So Hazen Street, <laughs> self-titled, is my yep. first pick. Yep. All right, so we'll get going with my second pick, which is a band called Leipzig. I, I may be butchering it. I don't know. But uh, Leipzig, Solus and Worms. Also released on Transylvanian Tapes. It's a four-track EP. Killer, killer melodic like black metal. A little bit of a little bit of black and death, but and it. I don't know. I am still listening to this, and this is because we've been delayed. We've had our picks for a little while. Like I'm still listening to this. Like it's so good. The drumming was oh. probably the one thing that really. That's my favorite part. Attach me to it. 
and then our, our produced perfectly. Yeah. Oh yeah. And like the playing, like, cause it's, you know, like sometimes in like death metal or black metal, it's just good. The drumming's like monotonous cause it's just same copy paste yeah. format sort of thing. Fill in some stuff, but there's a lot of bands that are doing it really well, like adding in shit and making it very interesting. But this dude is like coked out loose, like, but doing things that like keeps you back in, interacted in the song i love it but our good friend joey i was i sent it to him to check out and then he messaged me back and he was like yeah dude like the drummer is the touring drummer for incantation yeah like, when you told oh. me that i was like i didn't know i was that. like oh man that's sick that makes a lot of sense <laughs> but i mean it's so so good but i can't recommend it anymore if you haven't gotten it get it I, they still have tapes you said it's, up on, on, Transylvania it's on the same records. label yeah. as carrying carrying bloom. bloom yeah so i mean two of my picks are from transylvanian records but i that's if you're gonna buy some underground metal be it death doom death doom like he has a lot of experimental like atmospheric kind of metals and different things a lot of amazing band like his whole catalog is awesome but that's one dude to support transylvanian records I love everything that he releases. So many cool, like yeah. it's, it's smaller labels and stuff. You can buy stuff from right now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. And he has some really good sales going on. I can't remember if it's There's over too yet. many sales. Yeah. yeah. For Black Friday and all that. Too but, many sales. Yeah. He had like the Sivirus final, uh, false figures, evils. And I think I can't remember. Oh, fossilization, which I love fossilization. He had all four of those records for seventy five bucks. Like that's a good killer, deal right there. Killer. Go but buy yeah. go people go buy yourself something. <laughs> yeah. But you know. Support 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 where you can. Support record labels. Support support the <laughs> artists. Yeah. I'll I'll in This my, is what this channel's this yeah. show's about. Yeah. It's what it's all about. Bringing it to our little community here and hopefully reaching out to others. But I'll end it there in my little rant. What was their name again? Life sick. Okay, because I, I yeah, I need your life help sick on that. Life sick. Okay, I think is what it is. Solo some worms. Awesome. Love it. All right. Go out and buy it, or stream it. But probably you should buy it. Yeah. But. Stream it, <laughs> then buy it. Yeah. Yeah. If you like, I mean, this. Or if you like, just think that like you just want to be you know surprised <laughs> or like I don't I want to you know back in the I didn't I envy this I told you this about how oh did then, you ever. Hold on. I'm gonna, oh, shit. There's a little... Well, I don't know if we can see them. Okay, I got to fix this lighting in here, but... Some little, like, purple splatters on there. Well, that's cool. It makes it cool. Um, I can't remember if it's Transylvanian Records or not, but uh, I remember there was, like, a stream, and he was talking about how he went through a lot of uh, companies that made, like, Bibles on tape and stuff, like religious companies, and would just have them press his tapes... And then just like screen, screen print them, yeah. Just like people were having like audio, uh, Bibles oh, made okay, onto okay. cassette, like a company, like they just like that's all they did was like religious material, and it was the cheapest route to go for tapes and good quality. And I'm pretty well, sure, cool. I'm pretty sure it. I, I mean, might be wrong. Now, did any of those bands don't, use don't, any don't samples from those? By I want to know, like, did they use any? <laughs> No, no, it was a manufacturing company. Oh, I thought you said they like they tapes. got religious yeah. tapes and like taped. Oh, I don't know. Oh, Sorry, no, I'm no, stupid. No, no, not that. No, no, that. Yeah, that I'm would sound. A, I'm that having would, a moment here. That people. would sound bad. But. Yeah, I was like, what? You were <laughs> yeah. losing me for a second. I'm also really bad at explaining things, but okay. So it's let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep you it going here. My what second. You, what do you got at me? My second pick here is a a, a band that's been around for a while. This is their new album. Came out uh, in October on Sharp Tone Records. One of you're going to be seeing a lot of Sharp Tone bands probably on here. Called We Came as Romans. I don't know if you've heard of them. They're pretty. I mean, they're pretty <laughs> popping metalcore band. Been around for a while. This is their latest album, Dark Bloom. And I wanted to share this album because this is their first album since mm -hmm. the their uh, they lost their co lead singer. Unfortunately, passed away a few years ago. Kyle Pavone and. Uh, this is their first album sent back since he passed away, and it's a it's a great album. Uh, and it's you know it's more of the modern metalcore, 
it's not, I know it for some of these people on this channel may not be your flavor, but it's 10 tracks, 36 minutes. I think it's well done. The songs are written well. It's produced by Drew Folk, who you're also going to hear him a lot on here, who produced state, state Champs this year, Stick to Your Guns. He's produced Can't Swim. He's produced A Day to Remember. He's produced A Mirror. He's produced a fucking oh, ton of bands. Can't Swim. Nice. Can't Swim. He produced their second album. This two won't pass. Uh, he goes by Wizard Blood, too, or whatever. Yeah. But uh, uh, Dark Bloom, good album. It's not reinventing the wheel. I know it's, you know... A lot of people like call this type of metal core like the the octane core, the the metal core that sounds like Linkin Park with breakdowns and which well, I'll listen to that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I love all those things. So I wanted to uh, highlight some of this style of metal core. You know, yeah. um, some standout tracks. Obviously, the song "Dark Bloom," one of the first singles. And also, if you're like, well, I'm not really digging that, check out they well, did a death core version. Yeah. And you know what's unique about that is that a lot of these, like Wage Wars and Bear Tooths and We Came as Romans, all great bands, love them. But a lot of the band, bands in that style, they re release like acoustic alternate versions, which right. I also love. But I like how We Came as Romans said, we're just going to, we're going to do a deathcore, <laughs> obnoxious deathcore version. I and dug it. it. Yeah. I thought it, it was awesome. Uh, it was really cool. <laughs> and I thought like maybe they should, Let's do an album like that or an EP or something. Yeah. But uh, Dark Bloom is a sick track. You got another single, Black Hole, with Caleb, Mr. Caleb Shomo from uh, from Beartooth uh, and formerly Attack Attack. Back in the day, he was an attack, uh, the lead singer of Attack Attack. Band. You know, the Crabcore band, Stick Stickly. Well, Crabcore? I think it was called Crabcore. It's like the style of... Oh, is that when like all like the guitar players... Yes, did, like, it's the... called Crabcore. Yeah, like the synchronized, like stretched out yeah. real far. The MySpace, yeah. you know. Uh, but oh, yeah, the, throw your bass around your shoulder. Def, that's crap. The guitar. The, the I crab remember I used style. to like, practice that back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> Attack Attack was like <laughs> one of you know the their video, you know, stick stickly. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, those are a couple uh, highlight tracks. Personal favorite, a deeper track, track number nine, "Holding the Embers." For some reason, that song just. First time I heard it, I was like, "That's going to be a favorite of mine." And then uh, the, the it's last a back, track, backed album too, isn't that long? Yeah, that? ten minute, ten tracks, thirty six, yeah. about thirty six minutes. Oh, I thought it was longer. For no, and then uh, the last track, "Promise You," is like a ballad, like a. There's a video to it as well, like a tribute to Kyle. A and it's a, it's a, it's a ballad. It's oh, pre okay. it's pretty good. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's my second pick. We came as Romans, yeah. Dark Bloom. Um, check it out. And hopefully, I get to see them on tour next year. That's there one band go. I haven't seen in a while. So, so. Well, they could they come to St. Louis fairly often, don't they? I've seen them before, but I have not seen them, and since uh, a Warp tour like a long time ago. Oh, but okay. I'd like to see them. Are they from? Are they're they? from Michigan. Oh, okay. yeah. So I they're, they're mid from the UK for no, some reason. No, they're from Troy, Michigan. Oh, I don't yeah. know anything about Troy, Michigan. I don't either. But <laughs> we came as Romans is from Troy, so yeah. Uh, that's my second pick. We came as Romans, Dark Bloom. Check it out. I got the CD, by the way, for eight dollars. That's a good deal. Yeah, and in Spotify promotes, actually promoted it. They and, were like, "You were one of the first people to stream Dark Bloom." <laughs> so here, check out their merch. And I was like, "Okay, well, I'll buy the CD." Yeah. Spotify sent put a link to their website or, or web store, and I bought it. So it's also the most important thing. It's in a jewel case. Jewel case. Yeah, we please, came as Romans. Please and Sharp Tone start doing. Jewel cases. I we don't like jiggy, digi packs. And like, then sharp tone got it right. Digi packs. We <clears> want <throat> jewel cases. Yeah, jewel cases. So, yep. Second pick. We came as Romans. Dark Bloom. Yep. All right. I'll go to my third and final pick of this episode. The vinyl. First vinyl appearance of the episode. Yeah, and it doesn't have a saxophone in it. It's, First episode well, without a saxophone. Well, no, I don't think it. I don't think it has a saxophone in it. But okay. But anyways, it is "Blue Nothing" by Worm, third album. Well, it, this is a mini LP or EP, or however you want to sell. But the artwork is bonkers and beautiful. Love it. And if anybody doesn't know who Worm is. 
they're pretty much like they're very very prevalent in the underground it's a magical <laughs> this one, a magical black and death doom band from florida like, magical yeah like I'm, I'm i don't know but i thought he like has a place like out in the swamp or something and records all this amazing music and shit out there i hope so but <laughs> <laughs> but anyways um it's fantastic it's definitely um you know a contender for album of the year it's so so good it's not i mean like you were saying like it's you wouldn't think it would be normally something i would be into with no because it's like solos and it's epic and it's long oh, the songs are long yeah except for that one interlude which is pretty dope yeah um, it's good it's good but i mean that's one thing that like drew me in so much is like the production is so good and i was like sitting listening to the record and as it, you can just like it, you feel it and it, you move around with it and it's very entrancing album the guitar solos are i'm not usually a big fan of like real epic guitar solos yeah. but the way that they are put in the tracks the way that it just kind of slices at you it's so good and like the harmonies with it the synths in the album are just real warm and they don't sound bad or anything Almost power metal yeah, i was telling yeah. you his power metal vibes yeah. a little bit, <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Synth, i mean but then like they bring in like just some black and kind of guitar work and then just pummel you with just some death like some good old-fashioned like death metal death doom riffs and the drums in my opinion are out of all my picks, even the Live Sick album, which has amazing sounding drums, this the drums on this sound really, really good. And I like it. But, yeah. Not well, much more to so say about see. it, but... What color? What colorway is that? Uh, this is... I don't remember what it was called. Because well, they, they, like, they come up with some wild colorways. Yeah. I can't remember like the proper names. Uh, them, but I, it's, pretty, it's a pretty record. Yeah, I'd have to look it up. But, it, I mean, I posted this on our Instagram channel but yeah that's it's just like super like sick a pretty thing yeah right there. i honestly right now i can't remember if i pre-ordered this ahead of time or i bought it from somewhere i can't remember but, and they just re yeah. repressed another album too right yeah they just they repressed their first album uh, uh it's not coming to me right now but uh it said remastered too right yeah it's it was remastered but from the same person who remastered uh I don't know. It's not. What's that? Can't remember. Okay. All good. <laughs> that's where. That's where. I was, that's the noises I was making. Was I don't remember. Okay. But, he doesn't remember all. Yeah, it's been a busy day. Very very busy day. But I mean, this was definitely and like, Blue Nothing by Worm was definitely an album that made goosebumps come up, hair stand out, like. Might be seeing it again. That's what he. That's what he's might saying. Might be. Might be. Stay and tuned I for mean, that. just like everything about this. Like, look at, look at that. Look at that, and look at them. Look at them, fellas. Like, I just waking up to that. I, I would. I would love to. Um, one of the really cool parts about like, cause like I have for, Forever Glade on vinyl and tape, and it came with. Forever Glade came with this sort of badass poster. It was like, it was a, it almost felt like a screen, like a uh, silk screen print, not a silk screen print, but a screen oh, printed yeah. poster. But this one came with a full printed poster. Look and, at that. Yeah. I might have to. You might have to. Yeah, I didn't plan this. That's a big poster. But, that's that's sick. Yeah. The other, the Forever Glade poster is sick. It's dope. Now, is that going to be staying in the vinyl, or are, we gonna, are you going to get a frame for uh, that? If it's if it's going anywhere, it's going in a frame. I'm not just going like to hang it up, pin and, it up on the wall like I did yeah. with that integrity picture. Poster, that's sick. Whatever. Yeah, that's a that's a full po that's like a full poster. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but man, like anybody who I don't know, like if you're in a really bad mood, which it, this album helped me, like it. 
it'll bring you bring you up bring you up and put you into a world of dragons and synthesizers and guitar solos and heavy thick riffs it rules but worm worm blue nothing blue nothing is my third and final pick all right go buy it stream it whatever you have to do check it out yeah and my final pick is a cassette from a band from los angeles california um on flat spot records one of the one of my favorite current labels right now called the Law of Power, Born Into War. Look at these guys. Hold that up there. Yeah. There it is. If we can see it there. I'm like, okay, I, oh, I here, can get closer. Here. Okay. You keep going. I'm going to do the. Okay. Here. Well, Law of Power from Los Angeles. This is their first EP. They released a demo last year called Born Into War. And these dudes, you know, hardcore band. Uh, and I tell you what, they're legitimate. They legitimately scare me, and that's a good thing. <laughs> they do. I they legitimately not. scare me. I wonder if I can go to a show. <laughs> uh, I, I want to, but I ain't getting in that pit. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't want that smoke, but I want to see it. Yeah. I want to be. I want to be there for it. But these mm. guys, the song "Born into War." I mean, oh, if man. you haven't seen that video, I mean that that video along with the speed videos this year. Are by far my favorite videos yeah. of the year. Gang called Speed. Gang called Speed. <laughs> Shout out to them too. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Law Power. Born, it's three tracks. It's about six minutes. It's about six minutes long. We got we got first track, Eighty Dollar Devil, Family yeah. Curse, and then the title track, Born in the War. And also want to shout out. It's mixed and mastered and recorded by the Goat Taylor Young, who is he is everywhere. Yeah. If you if you like a heavy record, he's probably produced it or he's and, a part of it. And he's you sent it to me earlier yeah. that he's working on the new Antichrist Death uh, Core or I can't yeah ACXDC uh, album or EP or whatever it's going to be. And I when I was sending that message to you, I accidentally <laughs> like sent a bunch a bunch of exclamation points to him. And I was like, fuck, I'm not even drunk and I'm sending messages on accident here. And he actually responded. He just liked it back. I was like, okay. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah so Law uh, of power. Law Get of back. power, born in the war. And actually, I'll tell you a quick story. I was listening to uh, the lead singer was on uh, recently on a podcast called Scoped Exposure Podcast. Sick fucking podcast. If you like hardcore, listen to that podcast. He has everybody. Mm -hmm. Big underground New, old, whatever. Been around for a while, everybody. And uh, he recently had lead singer of uh, Law of Power on there. And he asked him <laughs> how they were able to do that Born in the War video. And he was like, basically like, I can't tell you that. And I was like, this is fucking sick. Well, dude, I love these that, guys. All of that video looks illegal as hell. All like, guns, ski masks. They're on top of like a... They're just in the streets like... In the streets and then they're on top of a... Like a like a thing where you land planes or something. Yeah, it's it's a helipad. Like yeah, heli on, yeah. On and I'm like, how are they how are they doing this? I mean, yeah, and, they're like playing a set on a helipad. And their tweet, like when they released with guns it, and stuff. <laughs> they when they released the video, they were like a twenty four and got shit on us or something. Anyway, they're a great they're a great up and coming band. They legit fucking terrify me in the best way possible. I hope to see them come to St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Come to hell. I'll go. I'll try. I'll go to Chicago. I'll go to Nashville. I'll go wherever. Yeah. Springfield. Because speaking of Springfield, we got to get to some shows in Springfield, yeah. Missouri. There is a whole lot of bands that I'm just now discovering yes. in the scene, and um, it's amazing. But that's a side tangent. But yeah. anyway, Law of Power. Check them out. Born in the War. Flat Spot Records. Three songs, six minutes. That may, you'll, I mean, spin, you'll be a spin kicking machine after you listen to this. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, legit, they legit terrify me in the best way possible. And yeah. I tell you, I would never fuck with them ever. I'll be like, you win, you, yep. I surrender. Good. So good. Yep. But law of power, born in the war, and you might be seeing this talked about again at some point mm -hmm. with a special crossover episode with our boys in the ati podcast yep we'll be doing a our top releases <laughs> of the year yeah we'll be doing a top 10 releases of the year it's gonna be a really really good time we'll have info coming out about that 
when Soon. it gets closer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess I should. I'm not. And we might, we, we possibly have scheduled, you know, with scheduling and all that and stuff, we'll uh, do another episode before the end of the year Yeah, of some more picks. Cause I got a lot of stuff in. Oh, That's God. why I only wanted to show three. Cause I was like, I could, I have stuff that for the next, <laughs> I could show for a few more episodes from now. So, yeah. um, got a lot of stuff coming in pre-orders. I've had stuff oh, that yeah. I've been waiting for, for months still that I'm waiting to talk about. Yeah. So. Uh, Be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. (coughs) Whenever this, sorry, whenever this episode (laughs) comes out, be on the lookout for our playlist. We do. I update a playlist every episode. Yep. Listen to it in order, or hit shuffle. Like it. Mm -hmm. Listen to something that you wouldn't have listened to regularly. We're trying to. we're, (laughs) We're trying to, you know, this playlist trying to make it a little diverse, a little melting pot of everything, things that we all enjoy. Because me and Ridge are we we have similar music interests, but we're also polar opposite on certain things. So mm-hmm. we're trying to you know just show off things we like, different things. Yeah, and, there's no. I find beauty in music all over, like all over different genres, and you'll find out on the top ten because my number one is not a metal album at all, very very far, and I love it, but. Yeah, that's what we're just we're doing. I mean, we're two brothers drinking, talking about music, talking about some shit cans, we love. Yeah, and uh, hopefully the, getting people to buy some yes, media and enjoying the hobby that we which, do. Which uh, I, you know, it's making a comeback. It I'm is. telling you, and that supports band a lot. No matter big, small, doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Support the artist. And the In labels. my opinion, if you like somebody, if you like something, you're a fan of something. I, it's not even music. I buy wrestling shirts, wrestling figures, sports jerseys. Mm-hmm. Of I mean, if I'm a fan of something, I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, you know, check this stuff <laughs> out. We got six new picks for you coming, and uh, Maybe. be ready Maybe. for the playlists and episodes and end of the year list coming soon. That's all I got. That's all. That's all you got. But before we get off of here, because we're wanting to wrap it up soon, want to talk about a little. Single that oh, was released. That's right. A little single that was released. Uh, a little what band. was it this week? Yes. Yeah, a little little band called Metallica. The greatest band ever. Yes. And we'll I don't I don't care if we get any hate for this, but Lux that, Eternal is the song. Lux Eternal is off the uh, album. Uh, Eterna or Eterna? Lux Eternal, Lux Eterna. But holy shit. Yeah, it's dude amazing. I loved it. I've been seeing like it's about fifty fifty on the what people think about that and what the new album is going to be but i i remember i was just like driving and listening to it and i was driving even faster as i was listening to it, it had like that like kill them all feel in yeah. a little bit with those riffs and i mean I definitely understand... back to return to form which they've been doing they've been slowly getting back to that each yeah. album the last couple albums but so. i feel like it's this this song's more like cohesive than like death magnetic and like the last few things they've done like it's well not, i agree it's, not, it's better it's, than death magnetic but i will say i, I do like death like, magnetic though. i do too but hardwired the song i think is, that was the first single they released mm-hmm. i still think that's that's one of my favorite metallica songs oh, yeah. ever yeah so but it was just like i don't i don't know it was it didn't feel like a bunch of because there was many songs on that album that was just like a bunch of riffs and yeah a little bit of structure here and there and it all ruled it was good but this new one I feel like is more cohesive and fun, fast. Like, yeah, I mean, got that like trucker metal, like Metallica thing. Like, I love it. It's um, also, I think people are just finding something to bitch about at this point. They Anything want, that Metallica does, somebody's going to find something to bitch about. They want Metallica to go, people, some people want Metallica to go back to the roots. Mm-hmm. And then some are like, they, we want them to change. And then when they do change, they fucking, people, I'm telling you right now, people. I'm if not Metallica gonna, like, did not anger though. Okay, well, Saint Anger is brilliant. <laughs> I don't know. Under... Saint Anger is brilliant, and I'm next episode. I'm wearing my Saint Anger shirt. You go, you go for it. But I'm telling you right now, Metallica. If they would have not done what they did, and you know, just did the Black Album, load, reload, Saint Anger, they would not be the biggest fucking metal band ever. I don't care what anybody says. They're Lulu does not count as a studio album because it was a project with Lou Reed. Yeah, yeah, I'll never consider. I that won't Metallica. count that, but I think they're perfect. 
I'm a stand till the end. Metallica is not Metallica. With the, Lars is part of Metallica. Without him, they would not be Metallica. They that all fit together, and they're all great. And every album's great. The new song's great. Quit your bitching. Mm-hmm. You'll still you'll still go to the show. You'll still buy the record. And but I you'll will. bitch on fucking line. That's <laughs> yeah. I can't stand. It, yeah. I understand. It's okay not to like something. It's okay not to like something. But don't be fucking. Don't be a fucking asshole about it. That's where I draw the line. Don't be a fucking asshole. Yeah. And there's a lot of assholes online. That's all I'll say. If you don't there like is. it, don't buy it. That's right. all I'm saying. Right. But I love it. Mm-hmm. Stream it. Buy it. Pre-order. Go, go to the show. <laughs> Two night show. They have the best set list in metal. They play a different set every single night. They have killer openers. Uh, Mammoth, Wolfgang Van Halen, uh, Architects is doing some UK dates, Ice Nine Kills, yeah. Five Finger Death Punch, all kinds of all kinds of bands. I am pretty stoked that Pantera is playing one. And week. Pantera, how could yeah. I forget? Well, they're playing like one of the dates because yeah. it's like two shows in each city or whatever. But I didn't, I haven't seen the video yet. But Barrett was just saying he was saying the video is killer. Okay. I haven't seen well, it yet. I'm, I'm excited. We might we'll have to throw that one on after. I somehow never even I didn't even know they released a video for it. But. Oh, for Metallica? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen all of it. I've seen snippet, but it's good. Or maybe uh, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Barrett. We'll figure it out. But that's but, the, that's the single. That's the, that's our single of the week. That's our single of the week. Rules. I know people had issues with the kick drum. I don't know. I then, maybe I'm not smart and I don't understand what. But I it mean, sounded good to me. It's just that I, from what I have gathered it's it's a lot of they say it's like kind of synthetic sounding like it's not which i mean most metal drums are not real like bass drums is not real it's like triggered to hell but i i mean it doesn't sound terrible to me i think it sounds just like any other metal album but i don't know i love it yeah i'm gonna buy the album i'm gonna buy it yeah pre-orders are available now already been looking we're Hopefully, going to see Metallica in November. In the, in November. But Ooh, I don't. Ticketmaster sucks. Do you, I, don't, I don't. Isn't Five Finger Death Punch playing one day? Yeah, I mean, listen here. I don't want to see that. I don't I wanna, listen to... here. I don't. I'm not like a fan, but I respect them. I do. I respect them. So, yeah, and they have a lot know. of fans, and they, you know, they sell. They they move a lot of merch, and they sell a lot of tickets. And for a band of that's been a band in the last 20 years for a band to do that. That is really good. No matter if you like them or not. I just, I don't know. I don't, I mean, it's, I it's not my thing, but you know, I'm not, I'm still going to go see Metallica. <laughs> I'm still going to go see it. Oh no, I'm not saying I yeah. would, I wouldn't go to that show. I was just saying like, I don't want to sit through, <laughs> like might have to like go to the, yeah, go to the bar, get a beer, or get a beer take, take a like, pee break, but hopefully uh, we'll be there. Just imagine that bad company shit all over. Okay, but anyways, but anyways, we'll we'll wrap this up. But this has been episode five of Waxing On with RJ. I didn't realize that. Yep, RJ, Ridge <laughs> and, and Jay. We'll see you guys probably pretty soon because we're going to try and churn out another episode before the year's up, and then look forward to the big, the big one, the big one. The big I'm one. ready for it. The big. ATI podcast and waxing on top 10 albums of the year. Have some little stuff. We'll, we'll have some fun things. Keep a, keep everybody on the toes. It'll be a fun time. But if you enjoy music and sporting music, and you love the ATI podcast, please check it out. And we'll see you guys next time with some cool stuff. Peace. This is Barrett from the ATI Podcast. Each week, Josh and I discuss current events, pop culture, music, TV, movies, politics, sports. Nothing is out of bounds. You can also tune in to learn about rising artists, small businesses, whether it's music, graphic design, filmmaking, or even a brick and mortar mom and pop shop. We will be spotlighting folks and their endeavors. Listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, 
Amazon Music, Anchor, or anywhere you enjoy your podcast. Just search ATI Podcast. We would like to thank you for your continued support. And as always, please stay safe out there.